What up, America? What up, YouTube? Shout out to the Mac Kids and Maniacs. Today I got a life learning experience. It doesn't have anything to do with gangs, gambling, drugs, robberies, burglaries, fights. None of that good old stuff we usually talk about in KM videos, true stories. I want to give a shout out to Fitzgerald. You know, he's popping. He's the one that did Kev Mac video. Also, I want to give a shout out to Captain Cole for mixing my intros. Welcome to another episode KM videos, true stories. That was it. I never stopped. I never stopped banging. I, I started banging hard, then I got so hard till it was a shame. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of KM Video. True, 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 true stories. Today's story takes place in 1988, summertime. My childhood homie from the sandbox, little crazy boy, also known as Marley Moore, scoops me up in a white 190 Benz. And we go cruising down Crenshaw Boulevard. This summertime, it's popping. All the ladies out there, the nice cars, the low riders. You might get a good squabble, you might bump a bad one, or you might get a couple of hood rats, you know what I mean? And so we going down Crenshaw, and this one girl catches my attention. She had a little funny nose, but she had the fly feathered hair, you know what I mean? And youngster, probably ah, maybe two years under me, something like that. And I'm like, follow her, cuz. Crazy boy follows her. She pulls by the Merck Park. Oh, we pull right behind her. I holler. I get the number. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the passenger seat. You know how that went back then. End up hollering at her, boom, we hook up. In, our, in September, I started driving the school buses again, but this time I'm in like the 710 freeway in Valley Boulevard, whatever city that is. I wanna say Washington, but I don't know if Washington went that far. But so at the time they were tailored bus service. They ended up getting bought out by Ryder, Ryder Transportation. And so California Lottery was new. I think they call it Lotto America, something like that. And you pick six numbers and you hit this big old jackpot. It was like a $60 million jackpot, which I believe was the largest one in America in, or in the world at that time. It was the large jackpot. And it's still new to California. I'm like, I'm going to go play the lottery. It was a liquor store over there off of Valley Boulevard, the 710 Freeway. So I stopped by. I buy me a lottery ticket. Boom, I go home. And I believe the lotto was the next day or maybe that same night. And I'm at home with moms. It's just me and moms at the house. At that time, everybody used to be like, a lot of, lot of numbers on Channel 9 at 7 o'clock or whatever. So that, that used to be the talk around town. So boom, turn the news on, get the lottery numbers, and they start calling out the lottery numbers. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Oh, shit. I hit the first five numbers. I don't get the sixth number. But this is a huge jackpot. This is a huge jackpot. 
I know I want a grip. I know I want a grip. So I get to run around screaming, going crazy. Yeah, mom, I hit the lotto. I hit the lotto. She said, well, you only hit five out of six. I'm like, yeah, I'm a, it's going to pay. It's going to pay big. It's going to pay. And so I'm happy. I'm excited. And I start yelling, yeah, 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 I'm finna buy a house. And I call old girl. I met on Crenshaw. Before I knew what love was, this was the love of my life. Before I knew girls be playing on you all the time, this was that girl. I call her up. Boom. Hey, we finna buy a house. We finna get married. I'm finna buy us a house. Everything's us. It ain't even about me. It's us. We finna get married. We finna get this big house. We finna go get some cars. And my mother is listening, I guess, because I'm so excited and I'm so loud because I'm in my room and she's in the front. And I come in there and she like, she like, Kevin. I hate when she calls me Kevin. Hate when anybody calls me that. So she's like, Kevin. I'm like, what? She said, you need to knock it off. I'm like, what? Knock what off? Mom, look, I got the numbers. It's on. I'm finna leave out your house. You ain't got to worry about me no more. Not really realizing, but realizing, I didn't pay no bills. I didn't buy no groceries. My hustle money went to my cars and get uh, a little bit of gambling. I wasn't really gambling heavy at that time, but uh, light gambling, light hustling, and... Um, you know, go, taking Vegas trips, you know what I mean? Going out, getting motel rooms, hotel rooms, motel, hotel, holiday in. If your girl starts acting up, yeah, I got with some of her friends. But mom said, look, she said, I'm your mother. I done raised you. I did the best I could with you. I gave you everything I could give you. Couldn't give you everything. Couldn't give you the best of things. But I gave you what I could. Ain't asked you for no rent money, no bill money, no groceries. You go out buying these cars. You fix these cars up. You go buy these rims, this music. You have all your friends come over. Y'all hang out in front of my house. She said... You don't even get my hair done, my nails done. You don't get my, no pedicure. You don't bring me no presents. You don't offer me no bills. You, she like, I'm upset with you. I'm like, why, mom? We rich. We rich. Man, I'm, I'm gone. She said, you don't get it, do you? I'm like, what? She said, you just meet some girl, and you crazy about this girl. I'm going to still be here. When shit go bad, you can come back and live with me. You can stay with me. If you need help and I can help you, I'm going to help you. She's like, whenever you need to talk to somebody, I'm going to be right here. Whenever you go to jail or get in any trouble, I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to come see you. She said, but now you find some hoe. You find some hoe ass girl out there on the street. And now you want to put her in a big house and buy her cars and marry her. She said, I think you're out of line and it's very disrespectful. I'm like, damn, she knocked my high all the way down. She knocked my high all the way down. <laughs>
They make sure we have a roof over our head, clothes on our back, a place to stay. Don't interrupt with the money we're trying to save or the money we hustling. They let us do our thing. And they always there for us. If we get shot, they at the hospital, we go to prison, they, they, they in the visiting room, you know what I mean? The county jail, they down there in them long lines to visit us and give us a wet 40 or whatever y'all was getting, a 30 back then or a 50, you know what I mean? But um, it really opened my eyes. And mom was right. So I go to pick up my money. I'm going to claim my money, and I go down there, and five numbers out of six ain't, a win, ain't the big winner, but I'm going to still get some bread. Come to find out a whole bunch of people had them save five numbers. That old quick pick, fixed ass lottery gave a whole bunch of people the same numbers they gave me. So I want some money. They broke me off like 500 bucks, five to 800, maybe 800, something like that, 500, 800. It wasn't a whole lot of money. It wasn't a whole lot, but they broke me off because they had to split it with all of the people who had won those five numbers. So my pay was, was small. Man, I was so upset, I was so hurt, and I was so disappointed. And I had to go back home to my mama house and let her know that I didn't get broke, broke up. I had to let old girl know we are not getting no house. I think, I think she was more happy knowing we wasn't getting married and we wasn't getting a house than we get married and getting a house. I think she might have had two or three other boyfriends or something. She, she, man, she probably still had an ex, a next, and all of that. <laughs> you feel me? So, yeah, that really opened my eyes. And I just thought, man, I need some content. I haven't been telling those stories. And this story had been on my mind. Today's the day I wanted to give this story to y'all, man. Hey, if you're new to the channel, go on and check us out, man, and subscribe. I tell all sorts of stories here, man. Fight stories, gambling stories, gang bang, shoot them up. I tell all sorts of stories here. I try to keep them as nonviolent as possible and as truthful and accurate as possible and take you back and live through the times in which we live in South Los Angeles. Be sure to click that like button. And don't be afraid to leave a comment, man. Thank you all for watching. I salute you all. Peace.